Hey guys, it's Collector Sleuth here, and today I have a Nightmare Before Christmas Beast Kingdom MC15 Jack Skellington statue. Um, so here we can take a look at the box here. So here's just the plain cardboard shipper box. And this had like a postage label on there. I just managed to get part of it off. Um, I did purchase this used off eBay. Um, now this one, I wasn't normally, or I wasn't originally going to buy this statue because of its price tag. And it was just, you know, uh, with all the Nightmare of Christmas stuff they make, I'm just going to have to be a lot more selective as to what I buy. And so this one retails for around... I don't know, like $190 to about $250. So it's pretty expensive. And so I got this one from eBay and I purchased it damaged. So to keep in mind that this item is damaged. And I got it considerably cheaper because of that. And so the damage isn't super terrible, so I'm going to repair that uh, in this video. But anyway, here is uh, the Certificate of Authenticity. So there's that. This comes in this nice little card type material um, holding thing here. Uh, it says uh, Beast Kingdom on the back even. So there's that. Okay, so let's take this out. Turn it this way just real quick. Uh, it's wanting to open a little bit easier. Yeah, that's better. All right. So, oh, got some coattails flying. Now, the two pieces of coattail um, in the pictures online, it you can see that these were um, that his coattail was damaged, but I didn't know that when I bought it. It wasn't in the description, and I didn't catch it um, in the picture. So when this arrived and these were broke off, I was like, oh no, you know, he got damaged worse. But then I looked at the pictures and it was already like that. So um, if I would have noticed that, I probably wouldn't have purchased this. Because um, I would have assumed that the two pieces were not with the product. Because in the picture, you didn't see the pieces off of the item. You just, you could actually just definitely tell that one of his coattails was not pointed like it should have been so um but anyway it, luckily they did come with the item so uh i will repair these and i did notice that i've already inspected this so um but yeah when i purchased it i didn't know that the coattails were also damaged i thought it was just going to be just the arm so let's take him out and this is made of resin this hand, this hand. So anyway, here's the base, pretty nice, and it's uh, fairly heavy. Let's see, I'm gonna lay him down without. Set you right there for a second, Jack. Okay. Here's the arm. Now the arm I knew about. Okay, so here we go. Uh, it says uh, Jack Skellington, number 504, limited edition. Uh, this does peel off. There's a little piece of plastic. You can peel this off. I'm going to leave it on there for now. And then here's where he slides in at. And on the back, there is some tombstones. Jack Lantern's on the front. And just a felt bottom. Alright. Alright. 
So here's Jack. Now Jack, I didn't, like I said, I did not notice that this coat tail was broken. Um, it is in the pictures. I just missed it. Uh, and the seller didn't mention it in the uh, comments. He probably didn't even notice either. He or she. So, um... Here's Jack's face. Now his face actually looks pretty good. I, he looks better than I thought he uh, was going to when I first saw this statue for sale. I think I seen it on Entertainment Earth. I want to say. Um, I'm not sure that they have it anymore, but I think that's where I originally saw this, and I wasn't wanting to pay the 200, 250, or whatever it was at the time. Anyway, his he he's got like I said, he's resin, so he's very fragile. Um, I knew about the arm being broke, and I thought it was going to be a cleaner break than this. I thought it was going to be, because they mentioned it being a clean break, but I couldn't tell from the pictures if this piece in here was still connected to here. Um, that would have been a lot better, because to me that's hardly even a break, because that's how they assemble them at the factory. They just they have a little piece that sticks out here, and it just goes inside like that. I thought, oh, well, that type of break's easy fix. You never even tell it was ever broken. But it's a little, not quite as clean as that. But anyway, so I'm going to glue his arm back on. Right here uh, with super glue. But now what happened in shipping, um, and I was partially refunded for this, was his hand broke off. They didn't uh, wrap this separately. They just laid it in the box and it jiggled around and uh, his hand broke off. So that was another break I wasn't anticipating. Um, but here's his hand. And unfortunately it is not a clean break. You can see part of his shirt on there still. And so I will glue that back like so. And so once I get this glued back together, um, I think it'll it'll still look really nice. All the pieces are here. It won't be perfect. So for a collector, you know, that's usually an issue. But for me, not wanting to buy this originally because of the price tag, I was able to get it cheap enough that it was worth um, the repairs just to have it displayed. Because it, I think it... it it's a really nice piece. I think it'll display really nicely. So um, maybe one day if the price goes down, I'll get me a perfect one. But for now, this works. So anyway, so I'll glue these pieces back together. And we'll set him on there and we'll take a look at him. So anyway, the glue I'm going to use is this super glue. I'm just going to dab a little bit and then uh, put him together. So here we go. Alright guys, I got him glued back together. Um, yeah, I just glued it in his arm here. Uh, let's see if you can see it. Um, let's see. That's my cap there. but There's a little bit of a hole right there. Um, it's kind of blurry here. I'm trying to hold him in such a way I don't break him again. And there's a little bit... Yeah, there we go. Of a hole right here by his hand. Uh, where I chipped away, the resin is chipped away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill those in with a little bit of putty. And then I'll paint it uh, black. And to make that less noticeable. So do that in just a minute. And then on the back, you can see, yeah, you can kind of see in the camera. Um, a line here and a line here where I reconnected the coattails. Because it's broken in two places. Snapped here and snapped here. So I glued those back on. And there's probably not a lot I can do to um, diminish those lines. It's not like it looks super terrible, but uh, you can definitely see them uh, when you look hard enough. And unfortunately, I had a little bit of glue spill out. Uh, it doesn't take much glue. You just got to be really um, just a little bit with the glue. And I think I did a little bit too much and it kind of seeped out right here. And so now you can see that. This one I did a better job with. Uh, this piece here, I'm just going to paint that little spot black. And um, that'll hide that a little bit better. And so I'm going to go ahead and put him on here. Problem with these slide in things is that they don't always slide in very well. Um, that's about as far as he goes. This one looks all the way down, but this foot is definitely sticking up. Um, I have other pieces that are like this where they do this slide in thing that they don't all, they don't go all the way down. Um, it still shows their the, the little piece that sticks out, but that's okay. Uh, from a distance, it looks pretty good. 
And if you turn it just so, you can't even see it anyway. So let's take a look at this. So there he is up on his hill, the spiral hill here. So like I said, you know, even with the repairs, he looks pretty good. Um, not sure I would pay 200 to 250 for it, but uh, pretty nice. And he stands, I think, I think they say 15 inches tall. I'm going to say it's 15. Well, let me see if it says on the box. He's, he's pretty tall. Let's see. What's it say? It says, um... Yeah, I'm looking. I thought it said. I wonder if that what the MC-015 uh, means. I think MC is Mastercraft. And I wanted to say that maybe the 015 is 15 inches tall. If anybody knows what that means, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments. But yeah, I'm guessing the MC is Mastercraft. And then I want to say the 15 means the height of the statue, but I'm not sure. Let's see, where did I see? I thought I saw somewhere where it said it was 15 inches tall. Not that I can't measure it. I could grab a, a measuring tape and measure it. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I don't see it. Doesn't mean it's on here. Not on here. I'm just not seeing it. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and repair those two little spots, and I'll I'll measure the item so we know how tall it is as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Anyway, this is the plastic weld out of the putty I'm going to use, which is plastic weld. And so I just take a little piece up. This is pretty dried out at the top, so we'll get this off. And you just uh, work the blue and the tan uh, pieces together. Probably wouldn't hurt to have gloves on to do this part, but it's much easier to do when it's. I don't. I'm not sure how safe that is, but. Anyway, um, I'm going to work this. Uh, Mix this together, and then I'm going to fill in the, the two little holes that I saw. And then I'm going to have to wait about 24 hours, I think, or so. That's about how long I wait to uh, paint the areas. And then I'll show you the result. All right, guys, it's been 24 hours, and I'm just going to set this outside. Uh, out of the way and I did repair his hand uh, with a little bit of putty I filled in the, the little gaps and painted it as well as his shoulder here it's kind of hard to see in the camera um, there it is you see a little light spot my paint's not quite as dark as the uh, couldn't get it quite quite the same but anyway it's um Looks a lot better than it did. Same thing with his hand. I just filled in all the little chipped areas and painted them. You can kind of see where my paint is because my white is uh, a little whiter than theirs. But anyway, it looks pretty good. Um, the coattails is probably the most noticeable spot. There we go. You can see it, the two lines there. Um, on the inside. Now the outside isn't quite as noticeable. Um, you can kind of still see in one there and then one up here. 
So anyway, um, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, like I said, uh, with the small repairs like that, they're they're not super super noticeable. Hey, his ties actually I thought it was resin. It's like a rubbery material. I didn't even notice that. See that flexes. So I'm wondering why you know his tie didn't snap off, but the rest of his coattails did. So, huh? All right. So there we go. Put him back up there. So I think I think it looks pretty good. I think it displays pretty nice. Let's see if we can't go ahead because I'm going to put him in my cabinet, uh, one of my cabinets. Let's see if I can't get this off. Let's peel this off. Here we got it. So this just peels off. That looks a lot better. There we go. So there he is. This is uh, Disney Tim Burton's Nightmare for Christmas. Got some Anyway guys, that's going to conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if this is something you're interested in, I hope that this uh, video was informative to you. Um, just goes to show that some of these figurines are very, very fragile. Um, another reason why I went ahead and bought the damaged one is because there's no guarantee that even if I bought a good one that it would get here without breaking. Um, so I saved a lot of money just avoiding that headache by just uh, buying one already damaged and uh, just repairing it. Like I said, I really don't usually do that. As a collector, I do like my pieces to be perfect. But this one looks pretty good. So um, that concludes this video. I thank you for watching and please subscribe.